The presentation of important clinical registries has been a key feature of these ESC 2011 sessions, as illustrated by the first data from the Garfield Registry presented by AJ Kekar. This registry aims to describe real-life treatment patterns, and it assesses outcomes of 55,000 patients with newly diagnosed atrial fibrillation and at least one additional risk factor for stroke. The key message from uh, Garfield baseline characteristics of the first 10,000 patients are that uh, newly presenting patients with atrial fibrillation using contemporary risk scores over 80% are at risk of thromboembolic stroke. Uh, that uh, we know how to identify these patients clearly. We know that only a small proportion of them, some 25%, have a concern about bleeding risk. Uh, and we know that the commonest risk factor, driving stroke risk, uh, is indeed hypertension. Overall, we find that about two thirds of patients at high risk, whichever score you use, CHADS2 or CHADS-FASC, um, are receiving anticoagulation to prevent their stroke. That means one third are not. And the most common reason uh, why uh, patients are not receiving anticoagulation is the choice of their physician. Even though ESC guidelines on atrial fibrillation were published last year, many new developments have occurred. And a special session was organised during ESC 2011 to review the new evidence, for example, in the field of catheter ablation. The first key message is that catheter ablation is no longer an experimental study. It's really beyond that stage and we can offer an effective and safe treatment option for patients with atrial fibrillation. Now, the guidelines from 2010 have recommended it as a class 2 recommendation. And we gather more and more evidence from randomized controlled trials that this is even stronger to be recommended, much stronger than we have assessed so far, because the alternative of antiarrhythmic medication is also not that successful and that safe. So there have been now head-to-head -head comparisons, and atrial fibrillation has shown in different patient groups to be a very effective and safe procedure for those patients. Aristotle is a new piece of evidence demonstrating that new drugs such as factor 10A antagonists and direct thrombin inhibitors are better than vitamin K antagonist. In this international trial, patients with atrial fibrillation and one additional risk factor were randomly assigned to receive either a new oral 10A inhibitor, apixaban, 5 mg twice daily, or warfarin. We have found in this 18,000 patient trial that, that this dose of apixaban, an oral factor 10A inhibitor, as an alternative to warfarin and compared to warfarin, was both more effective, 21% relative risk reduction in total stroke, and safer, a 31% reduction in, in uh, major bleeding. We are presenting this afternoon also data that shows that apixaban is advantageous irrespective of INR control. So although the event rates were lower in the European countries, still the benefit of apixaban was consistent. So therefore, I mean, the same conclusions can be drawn concerning the European perspective as for the global perspective.